Hello, Ecto Sage here on the Sage channel, and we're doing something a little bit different today. Not only are we in the real world, not only are we in a kitchen, but we're also going to be doing an unboxing of something very new. My, I just got in the mail today. I believe this would be my Oculus Rift, so I'm just going to do a really quick unboxing of it. Uh, because I'm excited for it. Now, I will say, I have also ordered a Vive, and uh, it should be here by week's end as well, which means I'm going to be rearranging my whole office. So, when it becomes time to do a opening of that, I might throw that into another video as well, as do a reveal of me rearranged office, because of course the Vive, well, requests quite a bit of room. There we go, alrighty. Now this nice big box is full of cardboard, as you'd expect. I'm just going to tilt it your way for a millisecond, so you can see nice little tiny bits of um, space around it. And I suspect this is all an upper shelving thing. It is, fantastic. It's an unboxing video. What do you expect? I'm going through the full box, not just the special box that we've now pulled out. The beautiful Oculus box, so we nearly knocked our markers off. Uh, inside the box, the shipping box, we now have nothing. We did have, just to be thorough, another one of these fun guys. Like this one, basically. Just to hold the uh, box in there, not letting it hit the other box. As for this itself, we got a wonderful piece of tape in our way. We can now shift this and have... Oh, it's like an Apple product, almost. It's got some silly handle on just the box. Next thing you know, you're going to be keeping the box and storing stuff inside of it. In fact, I'd go so far to say that handle is really nice. I wonder if this is actually the carrying case handle, because it, I believe it does have a carrying case. Anyway, let's open the proper thing now. And for popping this, I'm going to actually move the camera up. And there you go, the camera's been moved up, and the box is now flipped the other way around. So. You can see that nice little handle I was talking about, as well as my belly a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and just put this on its side gently. we got a nice little Windows thing right there in the corner, as well as the Oculus symbol over there. Very nice. This is actually uh, bumping up a tiny little bit. They, they actually did. Huh, it bumps up a tiny This reminds me a lot of an Apple product. Let's just, just hope it's not an overpriced piece of junk like most Apple products. Yes, I did piss some people off with that. Okie dokie, we're going to push gently now and slide this out because I want to attempt to maintain the... I don't want to break anything, let's put it that way. I want to maintain, I want to say to maintain the posterity of all of this. But I want to ensure that this item is not damaged at all. Boop, there we are. Go ahead and sit this up. <laughs> hold, hold steady. Any, anything special here? This is a nice little Oculus symbol right there in the middle, that's very nice. Ignoring that. Look at this. Dun, 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 dun. You can now have your own little Oculus. You now have your own little Oculus sign that you can just sit up anywhere you like. And look at this from the side. Just take off the frack. Well, it was working. Well, for a minute we had an Oculus sign. Anyway, we'll shift that over there, compress it down a little bit. Not too much. Roll back over the pretty pretty box. It is a pretty pretty box. I mean, look at that pretty pretty box. And sure enough, yes, that handle did go through all the way into the top, and uh, you can see it's a pulls itself back down. Let's go ahead and uh, slide this, I believe. No, oh, nope. Noper, noper, nopers. Does that. And then, I believe, it does one of these. My, oh my, let's get started. So there you go, that is the Oculus Rift box open, and now you can see the goodies inside. I have to say, I am excited, very excited. Oh boy, oh boy. At the back here we have the let's get started to set up your Rift. Go to oculus.com forward slash setup. So no more discs anymore. We are truly in the future. We also have a little tiny baby remote, which I am terrified to pull on. Oh lordy. Oh. Do I slide you down? How do I get you free? I think there's a little clip at the top. <coughs> there we go. Use your, use your eyes and you shall find a little tiny remote free. 
and uh, it's even got one of these little sticky stick things on it. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. I'm not going to touch it because my thumbprints will show up like crazy on it, but that's pretty cool. I'm assuming this is somewhat similar to the Vives controller. We got a back button, plus, minus, and yes, indeed, that is a button too. And that is the Oculus symbol. Now, let's actually look at the proper lower sections here. And by lower sections, I mean the lower area here with all of its goodies. Well, we'll start from right to left, oddly enough. And uh, let's just look at this thing. This wonderful little stand here with our camera on it. I am most definitely terrified of damaging anything. Oh, there we go. Safe and sound, free at last. And you can see it had a little tiny clip there holding it all in. This is your camera, if you don't know. The Oculus Rift functions in such a way that this camera basically tracks all these little, well, invisible to the naked eye, uh, infrared dots, I believe it is, and basically maps them out into a 3D shape and then tracks that movement. It's even got some at the back of the headset, too, so even if you turn around, this camera will still be able to see some lights and be able to, well, if you know how motion capture is done, it's the same exact thing, basically. It takes a distance be between the dots, and it, each dot is spaced specifically the correct distance to understand um, how it shall be set up. Interesting, it says, no water and no files, or alert of files. So, be wary of water, don't let any water near it, and then be wary of files, apparently. No idea why it says that. Uh, and the other side, it just says Oculus in a very, very, oh, okay. I thought it said Oculus on this. It doesn't. It says Oculus on that. Cool. So this is the front. Uh, I don't understand the file thing, though. Uh, at the base, we got a more than enough cords, and they're all wrappy wrapped wrapped all the way under with a piece of tape that you can simply, there we go, make sure I actually show the camera, pull off here. Ta-da! There you go, you silly buggers. And this looks like it wraps around. I'm very, very scared. There we go. And pulls free. Small creasing here into it, but nothing to worry about, I do not believe. And we'll pull this side out as well. Yes. Oh, that came off free. A lot easier. Cool. And uh, as soon as I get the tape off my hands, it's now free floating. And um, that might have been a mistake because I don't have this in my office yet. Now, before we go ahead and get to the Rift, the you know, piece de resistance, as some might call it. Uh, I'm going to pull this apart because I suspect there's going to be something else under here. Yes, indeed. Would you look at that? There is something more. Oh, this cable, I don't remember being like that two milliseconds ago. I must have, guess it must have been. But would you look at that? They've gone ahead and sent us our very own Xbox One controller. Not like we already have 20 of these or something. And look at this, they even gave us some paperwork to go with it. How wonderful. Everyone loves paperwork. So useful to have all this paperwork. Is this something I remove? I don't believe so. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull this stuff and stuck in there now and some more paperwork. Oh, yep, yep. Anatel, you know, Anatel. Yep, just a bunch of paperwork. It's not even a... Oh, what about this? Is this going to be something? It looks like it is <coughs> batteries. We got some batteries. Everyone, you know, loves batteries, so gotta have some batteries. And what else do we have in here? But ah, it's a manual, a health and safety and warranty guide. How useful. That's a lot of tiny text. That is a lot of very... That's not even English. Okay, well, good. At least the whole thing isn't in English. That would be a whole lot to read through with that tiny text. It was all English. In fact, I'd say very little of this is probably English as I'm going backwards in it, and that's that's still not English. Um, door T... Nope. Uh, yeah, former for... Most of that isn't English. Okay, look. Uh, I think I found English. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, okay, so we got at least three pages of English. So, you know, that's that's how little this manual, if they made a manual for each of the different areas they're shipping this to, uh, the manual would only be, you know, this this big right there. That's that's the, that's your manual if you read English. If you read, oh, there's one more page to it, okay. Okay, there's two more pages to it. All right, if you read, I believe this is... 
the language of the Eastern Continent. Uh, it's probably only four or five pages long before it goes into another language as well. Alrighty, well, enough of that silly off-trackness. Uh, let's also pull this out. This looks to be an Xbox One wireless controller, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so it means that this does have a function. If you didn't go the extra however much money for the wireless biddly biddle, you now have one of those. Uh, what else do we got in here? We have, oh, yep, yeah, they're going after the same people that really do love Apple. They've given us stickers. Everybody loves a sticker, don't you? I don't. I have never used a sticker on anything. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, wait, it's... I have no idea. Maybe if you sent me a proper manual, I would know what this little tiny crayon is. I have no clue. I feel like a fool. I suspect it's for maintenance. It's a tool. That's what makes the most sense, at least. And then in here, we have... Aha! Uh -huh. Would you look at that? It is a USB extension cable. So you can go ahead and extend yourself out more. And I think that's it for the random nonsense. Uh, we can go ahead now and actually look at the Oculus itself. The thing that everyone has been screaming, please move on and get to. So we're going to go ahead and just reach in here and oh my god, the clicking sound scares me half to death. But alas, we have it out now. Um, and would you look at that? They're, it's very interesting because there's so many cables and cords and stuff on it. They're terrified that you're going to go ahead and accidentally pull it out and the cables are going to fall and go somewhere. So you can see they've wrapped three of these little cable things to hold the main cable together. And unlike I believe the Vive has, this has a single cable. And it even has a nice little wrappy bout here. Uh, this back area here actually has fabric on the outside. This is where those infrared lights I've talked about are. And on the inside we have a tiny amount of padding. You do also have the headphones that it comes with. These are actually apparently pretty good quality. And looks like you have a USB 3 and an HDMI cable for the actual video feed. Because remember, this is basically a display when all is said and done. So, let's go ahead and touch the front of it like a fool. Oh, it's nice. It's not as... Fu well, it's pretty futuristic. I won't lie. I like it. Uh, at the bottom here, we have more tape holding everything together. And then, what else do we have? The lenses on the inside, which are once again saying, kindly, do not get any liquid or any paper near these things. Uh, I'm assuming that's a warning that these can be scratched. I'm not going to pull these off right now. I'm going to leave them on there until I'm ready to... Well, basically go to let's get started oculus.com slash setup. Anyway, guys and gals, um, I'm going to put this thing on real quick just to see what it looks like. So, uh, there you go. The Oculus Rift unboxing. I feel like I'm in the future and it is not a hat friendly place. Um, anyway, guys and gals, I think if I ever shall do one of these again, if I ever shall, if I ever do one of these again, I will do it without moving the camera about. That was a very silly choice. Um, and I'll just unbox it all right here, and if need be, get secondary angles. Just giving you guys a heads up on my thought process on how today actually went. Uh, anyway, um, I want to say much love, but uh, really I'm going to say thanks a bunch for watching. Um, uh, there is a little gap right here where I can actually see out of a tiny little bit down into the ground. So, uh, useful for walking around like this, if still unpractical. Time to go hook this thing up and have some fun. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals, and I shall see you next time. Ta-da! Hope I'm standing in the right spot. I'm wearing an Oculus Rift. I didn't even think. It's like, oh, this is the first time I'm ever wearing one of these. It's tight. It is tight. My God. It's very tight. Oh, I feel like I went to another world. I haven't even played a game yet.